push. Okay, so what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today um, I've got a bit of a different one planned. Um, we, as you guys know, those who watched the videos of us hunting, I have three of them posted on my channel. If you guys can go check them out. We went hunting on the Limpopo River. Um, it was an absolutely amazing trip. Probably one of the best, if not the best hunting trip I've ever been on. Um, very fun, everything. But uh, there was one like, one, I don't know, just one moment. It didn't ruin the trip at all. It was just not lacquer. And it's never lacquer when this happens. And uh, that is I, I wounded an animal. I wounded an impala. I am now to show you guys obviously the footage that is as you guys saw in the in the title and the I don't know about the thumbnail, I've not made the thumbnail yet, but in the title you've probably saw that is what the video is about. But um yeah, it's never lack or never great to wound an animal. It happens, it's hunting. Um, it's not nice seeing it, it's not, it's, it's like this big lumping feeling in your heart, it's just, it's not nice. You always want to be ethical about it, you want to kill the animal um, as quickly and as humanely, as swiftly as possible. So uh, yeah, it's, it wasn't, it wasn't a luck experience, but um, at first glance I just thought I made an absolute uh, bad shot on my part, and I did, don't get me wrong, I shot a bit high, um, but after reviewing the footage and putting it in slow mo, I saw I had what was probably one of the biggest string jumps that I've ever seen, um, or I had on myself. Not ever seen, sorry, that is a bit hype. Wow, uh, that has happened to me more than that warthog from last year that I ended up harvesting. That actually, <laughs> there's that warthog that string jumped me right over there. Wow, that that's bad. Anyway. Okay, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna speak too much. Just watch the footage. Here's the fast motion of everything. Push. So as you guys can see, like, right off the bat, it just looks like bad shot. It looks very high, it's very high, not just like a bit high, but very high. And so um, I knew, as soon as I saw the impact, I knew this animal is not gonna die at all. Like it's not even a wound as if it's, it's like gonna die later on. Like that animal probably is still alive. It's probably even healed up. Knowing these African animals, it wouldn't surprise me if that animal healed up perfectly and is now just going on with its life. Here now is the footage in slow motion. You guys can see that paints a bit of a different picture. I'm now going to use dot tracking ish things on the editor to show you guys um, just how much I don't, I've not done the maths on how fast it reacted. It reacted very fast. Let's just put it that way. Everyone who's been hunting in Africa knows it react, the impalas react very fast. It just, it happens. So, uh, yeah, here's the dot tracking sequence. Okay, so there you go. You guys could see it's rather a big string jump. It was, um, I didn't see it at first. I just thought I made a horrific shot. Um, I did not make a great shot, to be brutally honest. But uh, it did end up string jumping me. And I was shooting at 15 yards, 14 yards, if I remember correctly. I think so. I can't remember now. But um, I was about 15, 14 yards. So I just wanted to bring you guys this little video showing you how much the animal actually string jumped me. It, it, it surprised me, to be honest, it surprised me. 
but yeah it, it happened so i hope you guys enjoyed the video or, or learned something from the video i don't think you can enjoy seeing a wounded animal but learn something from the video and um don't forget to like and subscribe down below please it really helps me a lot and on my channel and whatever i don't know people who find me entertaining thank you but uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one it is springtime as of today hunting season has officially ended and i think it's the fourth of term today i'm gonna see in quite a short time i want to go visit one of the ponds and see if the bass aren't up shallow maybe either down spawning or spawning or pre-spawn i don't know there was a cold front last week but anyway i'll see you guys in that video hope you guys enjoyed smash the like button and subscribe cheers